Hey guys, my name is Crazy Penguin, and welcome back to another weapon comparison video for Tribes of Sun. Today we're going to be talking about the Pathfinder's secondary weapons, the shotgun and the light assault rifle. In this series, I like to cover two weapons, compare them side by side generally from the same class, and generally the default weapon versus something that you need to unlock with gold or experience. So, let's pull up some stats. Alright, first off, shotgun does 8 times 80 damage. That means it's going to shoot up to 8 pellets, and each of those pellets can do up to 80 damage, which is really, really high in comparison to the other shotguns in this game. The biggest drawback is that you only have 5 or 6 ammo, and you have to reload one at a time, so it gets very, very, very frustrating when you need just one or two more shots, and you have to reload one at a time. Oh man, it's just, it's so frustrating for me, I'm sorry. And then, also, the light assault rifle does about 80 damage, less at a range, has a really good clip size and a ton of ammo. One thing that you need to know about the light assault rifle, though, is that it actually fires in a burst fire fashion. The, it's a little misleading. At least for me it was. I, I picked up the gun, I'm like, well, what the heck's going on? Oh, it's burst fire, okay. And that makes it just a little bit more difficult for me to fire. Alright, so let's talk about these guns a little bit about the playstyles and... and best scenarios to use them. Shotgun, obviously closer ranges. Shotguns actually have a really decent range in Tribes of Sun for them being shotguns, but at those long, long distances you're doing reduced damage and you're only going to get one or two pellets to actually hit the target. It's great for making sure that they don't regen their health, but overall, when you're playing the Pathfinder, you're going fast, you're going to be chasing enemies. Something like the Light Assault Rifle is just going to be so much better. And that's why I would suggest it. Let's talk about the light assault rifle a little bit and why it's so great. Well, because of the fact that you have a longer range, you're going to be able to pick at people from a distance. When you're chasing people, you're actually going to be able to do something. You don't have to wait for them to touch down. I mean, it's a really, really, really great asset when it comes to chasing enemy flag carriers who got away with your flag. Because you're already suited for that with your nitrons and the fact that you can go so fast and catch up to them. This is just another really, really great tool to use in that kind of scenario. So... I would definitely suggest that you get the Light Assault Rifle just about as soon as you can. If you enjoy playing the Pathfinder, it's really going to help you. Anyway guys, that's going to do it for this weapon comparison video. If you like this kind of stuff, be sure to stick around, like and subscribe to the video. Check us out at FPSGeneral.com, and I'll see you next video guys.